I can't wait to see it. Done a good job. It's I all hope, good. I hope I live up to your expectations. You guys uh -oh. won every freaking amateur event in West Virginia. Oh, no kidding. Now he's working on Florida. He just moved to Florida full time. Yeah. You, you've so already dominated West Virginia. Now you got to take over Florida too, huh? Well, I like it. Uh, the over, let's say the over 60. So, so I tell won me. The, the four ma amateur majors over 60. Really? I won the, the, uh, whatever. There's there, the four tournaments are the stroke play amateur, the match play amateur, uh, the match play four ball, which I just won last year, mm -hmm. Matt, and then the, the West Virginia Senior Open. So what the hell do you need me for? Uh, You're winning everything. I haven't won anything in Florida, uh -huh. which, you know, the side, West Virginia's got the population of Orlando, so <laughs> it's we're, just, whole we're, we're just learning how to putt right now, so that, once we learn how to putt, he's going to start winning everything. Well, I, uh, <laughs> Well, you person. came to the wrong guy for putting. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> We've actually made some pretty good changes. Yes, adjustments we did. For putting there. Yeah. But well. his his background is that he saw pretty much every instructor on the planet. We, he did. Like okay. Every, every top, couple famous ones. Right. All yeah. Wait, Doc he had, Suddy, do you know him? I do. You I don't know him, but I know who he is. Yeah. Uh, you should have seen this old backswing position. Yeah. And then uh, I went to Al. Now he's been promoted. He was at uh, up in. Uh, where the Golf Hall of Fame is. He's now the head teaching pro at where the Island Green is, yeah, Sawgrass. Sawgrass. Yeah. Yeah. He was at, what do they call it, at the BGA Tour School or something that's actually part of the yeah, yeah. Golf Hall of Fame. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Bear Course and all that stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Theory, 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 but on. now he's at Sawgrass. Yeah. So he's the, he's actually, he's on the Golf Channel every once in a while. But I went to him. Uh, number of years. Back in the days when you had to send a VCR tape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I remember those days. <laughs> it's a whole different ball game now. He you can had, do this stuff now. Because then I've drawn plane lines on there. He's like, no, that's not the way I was playing. I'm like, Tom? I'm an, <laughs> I'm an engineer. So. Yeah, he's an engineer. Well, it sounds like you guys have got this stuff figured out. I don't know what you need me for. Well, we've done a lot. So he, we, we fixed the hand and arm position that he battled for his entire life fixed it like he was always a little bit flat a little bit deep in the right elbow a little bit across the line then he way was always hanging way on his right side so we got him all the way to his left side i told him when i first said i said you'll never get it. i've tried for years yeah, yeah, especially with the driver you couldn't see anything. i was across the line where if you took a video from behind you couldn't see the driver head because it was on the other side yeah. yeah so it's, yeah. it's pretty good now he still battles a little lead side push going back he has a little bit of too much right side in the bottom but you know, obviously you're the, the master of this stuff, so you'd be able to kind of give him some stuff to... I did more uh, as much as anything to meet you. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, well, we've met. Let's go grab a beer. <laughs> let's go. Now, let's fix this. All right, all right, let's take a look. Let me watch now, you look at a couple. This. I've got two. Uh, how, can I, how can I lose now, right? <laughs> you got the whole show here. All right. Let me hit one on video or whatever you want to do. Yeah, let me just watch you hit a couple, and then I'll yeah. put a couple on video, and all right. we'll take a gander. Uh, I'll aim at the first tower there. Okay. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> a little knifey. <laughs> your grass is a little sparse. This will make you a golfer here, bud. I uh, know it. I don't know how to play in the swamp, you can play yep. Not bad, I mean, but it's there. Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. So this turn's probably going to be a little short. Yeah. Really good transition move, though. I like that.
This is the one that you have thin one. Yeah, you get the teeth. Yep. So a right tiny hand. bit late getting posted up before you start really firing the arms. A little bit of flip in there. Yep. But not bad. Definitely not bad. Oh, that looks better. good though. A lot better than yeah. it used to be, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I mean it's Heck a yeah. it's a really good transition. I would say it's it's a couple milliseconds late of getting getting really posted up and yeah. getting rid of that right side hit. It's not bad. Not bad at all, really. Let's take a quick look now. Well, that's a little tricky to recover from. But you can On side, yeah. Yeah, a little, little right wrist hinge there. Mm -hmm. And that's going to get the club inside, tend to shut it a little bit. Yep. A little bit deeper cross chest. Really nice transition there, but the hands, are, the right arm's fired pretty hard. Ideally, I'd like to see the hands during that first phase work pretty vertically instead of out toward the ball. See the damage? So when we, when we let them settle in a little bit, the club's just going to just hair late. That's probably why you're throwing it, because it gets a little bit late behind the hands and then catch up with it and a lot of hit at the bottom. So, this is probably the biggest issue, is getting the club and the hands firing a little bit early before you've really got your body set up. When you look at so you're getting up on your toe a little bit there. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a little bit of right side activation there that's a little bit aggressive, which, I mean, obviously you need to use the right side. You can use the right side, but, if it's just a hair early, that's how you're going to start running into that stuff. So when you release the club at the bottom, just a tiny bit of breakdown, that's when you're hitting into the teeth. I'm sure you're rarely going to do that, but it's there. I do it. The, I do it every once in a while. quick left one every once in a while too, because he gets the club face shut. So. Yeah, so, is it, so yeah, yeah. I mean, big picture wise, the club going back at the wrist like this, inside, a little bit deep, a little bit shut, you can recover from it. It's not like it's severe but it's there but as you start going and your hands are going this way that's when I start getting nervous about stuff because it's pretty the club is now you know as your hands go this way the club is going to stay back here for a second you sense that and then all of a sudden you're like I gotta hit it with the right I gotta get rid of it. I gotta get it back out right yeah. so I don't like the hands going out this way because of that and you can run into hitting teeth you can hit it off the hosley you can get a little bit of everything there so that's just kind of my bigger concern but as you're taking it back with the wrist going like this, you're kind of presetting a little bit deep and then you, you kind of compound it by firing the arm. So to tackle both, what I would probably do is I do a little bit of backswing stuff, very small, and then I would help you work on, you have an awesome transition, but I said again, it's the arms take over maybe six inches, 12 inches too soon before the body gets to get out of the way. And that will keep the hands from going this way. So that's probably all I'd really tweak in your swing. Your swing looks great, obviously hit it really well, but those two things together kind of compound a mistake, right? You have one that stacks on top of the other and then you can hit kind of some scoreless shots, but again, I don't think you do that very often. So, sound familiar? You've <laughs> <laughs> heard this story before? <laughs> kind of like the exact same. <laughs> all right, so yep. the good thing is- Eight's pretty freaking good. You, get a, you, gotta, you gotta give him a raise. <laughs> you paid me for that. <laughs> he drives a nicer car than I do. <laughs> I drive a 15-year-old Hummer. Hey, right no, now. wait a second. I saw on your Facebook page these beautiful race cars when you were still here. In... I, I've raced a couple of cars, but I, I got rid of all that stuff now. <laughs> well, you're a mountain man. You sold all that stuff. You're a mountain That's right. I'm a mountain man now. So, <laughs> so, so you got an RV. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> wheel estate. Huh? We've decided, Chris has come up with the term wheel estate. So I'm into the wheel yeah. estate market now. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Chris, Chris has been trained well. He knows exactly what he's doing, so you don't need me here. But what I do want to do is see if I can help you out a little bit with the backswing stuff to create a couple different feelings and then a transitional feeling change. To that. Okay. So hop in front of the mirror for me. Okay. And just kind of do your normal takeaway and go halfway back and stop. Okay. okay. So a couple of things. One. This is getting a little smashed. That's you can't see the low uh, on the shirt. Yep. And this is starting to bend. Yep. So right here is the center of your chest. Yep. And your hand should still be relatively close to should it. Should be like more yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. So go ahead and set up again. And let me just help. You just turn. 
So I want you to imagine that this logo on your shirt is going to stay visible the whole time. Okay. Chris, when you turn back. Take your arms across your chest. Yep. Just rotate that. So right there, when you look at your shoulders in the mirror, they're, yep. they're great. Everything's perfect. There. All right. Now just extend your hands out right here. Shake my hand. Okay. So now you've got a little more space between you. You don't feel like your chest is smashed. But yeah. when you started the club back, what I felt was you pushing against the club. That's why I'm holding on to it. I want to feel what you're doing. So as you did that, you had a little bit of this. And then you're also, because you're activating this left shoulder, you're turning a little flat when you have the club there. Now, that's why I pointed out, your shoulders are great because you turn without the influence of your arms. All right. So do that again without your arms. Perfect. Right there. That's right where we want. Stick your arms out, shake my hand. Done. There we go. Okay. That's nice and relaxed. Right okay. there. So now, I'm going to put my hands right here. And you're going to go back to address, go back to setup, and just make your takeaway. And see where your hands are. A little bit inside. That's close there. Again. There you go. Good. Relax this. There you go. There you go. Good. Again. So let your arms hang with you. Is don't, I don't relax my right shoulder. And let your arms just hang down and address. Yeah. I'm going to have a little change here. <laughs> yep. Okay. Just All find right. your balance. Your balance there? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll let you try one more time. All right, one more time. <laughs> you show now me. Now this time I'm on. <laughs> but yeah, you can do that. Go ahead. Either one. All right. Balance. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're balanced. Now All we right. can play golf. All right, <laughs> now I'll turn back. Let's relax. See, stop right there. Look, your logo's gone again, right? Yep. So you're just trying to move your arms further than they need to go. There you go. Good. Right there's plenty. So you think about during the takeaway, when you stop, if you're gonna check your hands, pocket height, right over your toes. No. Okay. Not, you don't need too much elevation, they don't need to be inside. So no. let's do that again. I try to do this in the mirror. There you go, relax the trail, there you go. So part of the problem with this, because it's still, you're still swinging your arm across your chest a little bit, is that where you're feeling the movement from, is too much from here up. That's how you're starting to try and turn, and that's why no matter what I tell you, show you where your hands go, there's still a little bit of movement there. And while we're doing these little drills, we're going slow like this, it, it doesn't really matter, right? But when you add speed, that's when you see everything go wrong. Yep. So what I need you to do is Some rotate more. the way that you did exactly from your from your obliques. Yeah. Because then your arms can stay chilled out, but you can still see the logo on your shirt. But if you start trying to rotate too much from your from the rectangle, right, from your shoulders, the shoulder blade glides, but feels like almost like you're overdoing like you're trying to make your movement from your upper oh, I am. instead of from here. I am. I'm trying to move that trap. Yeah. That right trap and I think that also creates my tension in my right shoulder because I'm able to climb so hard. You don't need to do that, right? So so that shoulder blade glide is like one of the best things I've ever come up with and one of the worst things I've ever come up with. It's the bait of our existence. Okay. It is, right? <laughs> Because it's a subtle move, but yes. every time somebody starts doing it, they do this and they end up, they don't understand, like, well, what am I doing wrong? It's just this, even just turning and talking to Chris, my shoulder blade is still moving. Yeah. But it's subtle. It's like throwing a ball. Like, nobody ever thinks about yeah. their shoulder blade going back, down, and in when they go to throw a ball. But yeah. I guarantee you that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Same thing here for you. You're doing the movement too mechanically correctly. You're interpreting it too much. It's like, all right, this, this. Actually, lately in the mirror, I have, as I noticed, I mean, when you talk about, I don't know how many times I've gone over and over the backswing stuff, because this guy's, you know, keeps telling me, oh, got that left push in there, Spriggs, come on, get rid of that shit. <laughs> so, uh, lately, I, I've noticed what hit home was just what you said, the traps, that I don't feel. The obliques. Obliques, obliques I mean. Here's I don't the, feel them. Hop in the car. Uh, it's the easiest way to feel them. I did this in, yeah, just have a seat over here. Christopher, can you grab that camera? Yeah. Walk through this. All right. So, arms across the chest. Get to scoot up kind of like towards the edge. Oh, yeah. This side? Uh, yeah, face on. So, this is my favorite drill in the world for teaching people how to make a backswing. Just turn back now. There you go. Shrug the shoulders. 
shoulders up to your ears and then depress them and you're done. Just leave them there. And now just turn and talk to me. Don't move your shoulders at all. Just turn like you're going to talk to me. Like in normal, oh. forget golf. Just turn your body. Oh. There you yeah. go. Okay. Turn your whole rib cage as far right. as you can. There you go. Relax your shoulders. There. Do you really want to activate these traps? Let's try to go out further. It's probably going to be pretty much full address. Let them hang down. Okay. Now look at the difference. You can still see the logo on your shirt, yes. right? So all it took was like three minutes of rotation drills, slowly adding your arms further and further out, and now all of a sudden you've got it, right? But if you don't go back and do the, there's a reason like, you know, this drill seems so stupid. I do it on the website, nobody does it, right? There's like, I did. Okay, I got it. <laughs> you know, and then they keep going. I've right did a lot of this lately, because I knew I still wasn't there with the, you know, left push and, when I do my videos, a lot of times I'll look at how my hands go back. Because yeah. when I'm pushing, they go out a little bit. Exactly. And I can see that when I'm doing, you know, from behind. Right. Even though he wasn't hollering at me because it wasn't too bad, <laughs> I saw it wasn't perfect, and I'm an engineer, and it's got to be perfect. So I uh, saw so even you know, more recently, uh, I've been trying to do more. I got a bathroom. I got two, two mirrors. My wife gets mad because I'm in there one of these days I'm going to hit one of the mirrors and <laughs> float, but you know trying to do this just this drill uh, but, but I probably wasn't doing it quite right going through one of the hardest things for people to understand and I think that is the most beneficial thing that I did with the system is the sequencing yeah there's a reason like the, the, the five minutes of perfect release there's five very specific steps that if you skip any of them and don't really get comfortable doing it, you'll never get it, right? All right? Same thing with this, like when we're doing just these rotation drills, I start with my hands right here because, I mean, we've been doing this for a long, long time, especially in all the clinics and we've got 10 people here and we're like, okay, are your hands in front of your chest? And they're like, I don't know. And, well, it doesn't do any good to not know. And first and second of all, they're your hands right. look down at them, right? Right. And they don't catch on that this is going on. Yeah. The same thing happening with you when you're getting this tension and this little push and you, all of a sudden, it's going to breed into all the other little things that are going on in your swing. So as soon as you get comfortable with here, I can see the logo on my shirt. My hands are right out here, right over my, my feet. Instead of this, because you are so fixated on trying to pull that shoulder blade back, you're kind of overdoing that one yeah, little piece. Of I definitely, and he knows this, that I have never really been able to feel. I probably did when I was a lot worse than I am now, but I can feel it. But now it's, the only way I sense I even do it is... We got into a big argument it. about it. You were like, I do not have any left side push in me. And I, I did the test with him. I had him go into the praying <laughs> yeah. position, and I showed his hands out of center probably like three inches. Yep. I was like, how do they get there? Yep. He's like, I so, didn't push over there. Of course not. No. <laughs> it's very hard to perceive all of this stuff, and that's why there's a sequence in the steps. Right. That you, You've got to go back to the little tiny steps and make sure those are done right. And if you do, then the rest of it's really easy. But right. If we miss these little steps, I think that's probably the biggest revelation for most golfers. They're like, oh, well, access tilt really is that important. I see how it impacts it. So I think it's kind of good to see the whole thing come together in a, in a typical lesson like that. But yeah. you've got to make sure that these little things are on, on tap. So yeah. same thing. Down. Well, let's see. If we can still do it like that, I'd love for it to be all the way down. All right, let's try I'm going to find out. Okay. Where do you feel tension? Right in here. Okay. Where? Probably more so on the left side than I did on the right, but... Okay. There you go. That's better. Every time, we want to be able to see that logo. That was good. Okay. Do you feel any activation in this trap? No. A lot less than where it used to be. Okay. Can you depress it so? at all? Oh, I moved about an inch. That's yeah. a lot. Try it again. Oh, so there's still too much tension. It's elevated. Okay. There you go. Good. There you go. Good. Straighten that out. Create some width. That's nice and depressed. Perfect. So now, if we throw the club in the mix there. Oh, boy. Now, this will be fun. Oh, this will be easy <laughs> I know for you. Oh, yeah. I know what this is like. All right. So your focus is just on those obliques still. Yep. Don't 
hold on to it. Yeah. You add it in here. Okay. Okay. So now the logo's gone. Okay. Right? So this is, again, I'm, normally I would just go left arm only and then I'd slowly, but we had both arms out there and they were great. So if the club starts throwing things off, then what we start doing is we'll choke up on the club or flip it upside yeah, down. Yeah, I've, I've done that. the flip upside down a lot. Yeah, that helps a ton. But the one thing I probably haven't ever looked at is the logo thing. You know, after I know that's on you. Yeah, keep your chest nice and open. I'm gonna rotate from here. There you go. Now, what did that takeaway feel like? So now we can see your logo. All right. So you know he didn't push across your chest. Your right arm's still straight. Right wrist is still pretty straight. So we're in good shape here, and the club ended up exactly where we wanted it to right. go. But you had to concentrate on doing way less, right? Way less from up here. Oh, yeah. I, I was trying to totally ignore that. And just think about the obliques. like the club's way out there. Yeah. So you have a tendency to not get enough elevation early enough in the swing. Yeah. And that's gonna what you know, you know, go a little bit inside. Yep. Elevation does the opposite, right? Elevation keeps yep. the club working out in front of us. Yeah. And if you add just a tiny bit of elevation, it's gonna feel bizarre to you, but I promise it doesn't look anything yeah. like what it feels like. But that keeps you from swinging your arms across. It yes. allows your arms to learn to work up. They want to do something, right? Right. And if we give them something to do instead of telling them don't do this, right, your brain starts to click because your yep. subconscious doesn't understand the concept of not. Yeah. Don't, right? Yep. So I can tell you don't move your arms and you're like, oh god, that's really hard. But if I tell you, as you're rotating, add a little bit of elevation, it allows you to feel a more natural motion and give your arms something to do. Yep. Well, I've seen that a lot where I'm taking back and it may be, you know, not going back here, but it's the club head's way low. Exactly. Uh, and then you're going to want to fold your right arm because you feel the club is out of position, it's yeah. too low. So you're yeah. like, oh, I need to do something to get some leverage. Yeah. Let's just do it again. And that's a normal take, but it probably felt like it was mm -hmm. way out over here, yep. right? But yep. it's not. And I'll do that a lot of times when I'm practicing because I'll see that club whip inside. Well, turn down the line so you can see it in the mirror here. I think a bulk back. of your focus though from from just working with you in the past has always been more so on where your hands are instead of focusing on actually moving from the correct body parts. And you and I have talked about that just a little bit. Right. Right. Yeah. So you're you're looking at more of a like a results oriented kind of thing where you're like saying, hey, you know, I, if my hands don't pop outside, then I know that I fixed my takeaway, which is not not the case. No, I right? know I can. I can because you can just you can pull your hands back and inside easily. Hands go in a nice arc. That's the that. And then Chuck is getting you yeah. really focused on actually moving from the correct body parts. Right. Now. So you actually are fixing the the, the issue. Right. Yeah. The root cause. No more thinking about your hands. <laughs> or I'll put you in timeout. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Almost, again. There's a little bit more elevation that I added earlier in the swing. Okay. Not to the point that the club goes outside the path. Right. right. But the club is essentially going to look like, from your perspective, if you imagine that this is our generic swing path. Right. As you're looking down at it, it's going to look like it traces that. Yeah. My path was way too inside. I didn't help you out there. <laughs> I, just I was going to say uh, something there. There's, there's your pretend path. Again, I, that's what I used to do as a kid. I always think, oh, you got to swing inside. So yeah. I, my swing was like that. Gotcha. You know, That's a hard habit to break. You've done a great job. Uh, We're, this is just the, the, you guys have done all the hard work. This is just the cherry on top. Hours and hours. Uh, right away. So right away it went inside <laughs> of that line, right? So. All right. From your eye's perspective, it's gotta go. that's yep. what it's going to look like. Yeah. Okay. Club's way inside here. Yep. Yeah, let me grab a shaft here. 
So that's what I do in my mi mirror, and to me, even in the mirror, it doesn't look like it's inside. Well, let's show you what it's supposed to look like. All right. So go ahead and set it for me. I'm gonna put the, this is right about the ball of your foot. Yep. And straight down the target line. That's where the club should end up on top of at the end of the take. Line. Right. And then. How come it hit that? Got it inside. Mm -hmm. So do it again. And how come my club's nowhere near that one? Yeah. So what did I do different? Oh, well, I certainly didn't have that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when you start back, you start wanting to go inside right away. Yeah. And then there's no way to really recover to keep the club out in front of you. So right. that's when you're going to start hinging, getting deep, and all yep. that stuff. So. Yep. It's going to feel to yep. you oh, I know. up and out. There. Yep. So now it's right over that line. Yep. And to me, from here, it looks like you well, it's not on my toe, it's inside my toe. Just, yeah, yeah. I mean, I use this kind of range. Yeah. It doesn't okay. really make that huge of a difference, but yeah. Because even the, some of the best ones I've, I do, it's probably at the toe. It's been very hard to get Typically back when a little bit. Well, when that happens, if the if the club is right here yep. on your takeaway, what that really means is you've set your wrists too soon. You've rolled them into the inside, so your hands haven't had a chance to be moved to the inside over the ball of your foot by your body rotation. Yeah. So if they're here, you just used your body rotation. Yeah. I'll step in and show you. So if I'm standing here and I look like my hands are out over my toes when the takeaway's done, which you know, when the club's parallel to the ground, it's going to be more this. But my hands, if I kept turning, would be inside. So if I do it correctly, and I rotate and elevate, you'll see now if I drop the club, it's yeah. on top of that. My hands get moved inside by my body turn. Right. And then the club gets moved by that elevation to go up. Sounds awful, so... <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Perfect. Now drop the club, it'd be right on top of that. <laughs> Perfect. Almost. That's right where it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Getting this takeaway, like dialed in to where it drops exactly on the club, means nothing. Right. What we're really looking at is what's the macro stuff? What's moving the club right. to get the club where we want it to go? Right. Before, it was your right wrist, arm, left shoulder push. Now it's your torso, and the club just goes right there and it just happens to drop on the club. Right. This is not a position that you're trying to achieve. It's right. irrelevant. What really matters is what did you do to get right, there, right? Right. So exactly. that's what we're seeing. Yep. Good. Perfect. Now you got a ton of width in your takeaways. Yep. Which is going to give you way more power and effort to speed yep. than what you were doing before by rolling it in. So yeah. you've looked really, really wide. Now you're going to, it's going to force you to make a bigger turn. So right. you so this right. looks great. Yeah, I've always noticed that when I'm halfway back, I can see my left elbow and then this arm's not straight out. Yeah, and that's, that's it's not why we're using real bad, I don't think, but it wasn't really maximized. So. But what it's that doesn't really matter per se unless it triggers some other stuff in your swing, which it did, right? The yeah. the club going inside and then a firing of the arms club getting late and then yep. you throw the club, right? Yep. So that's why we're fixing this, because it's really to fix the downswing. I don't really care too much about takeaway. As long as it's in a ballpark, but I do care when it leads to some other problem in the downswing, then we got issues, right? Yeah. So let's let's see if we can go all the way to the top from there. I know you'll drill this takeaway when you go home, so oh, yeah. I'm not going to waste too much time on it. I'll uh, set this thing yeah. up in my, my bathroom <laughs> and my wife really <laughs> She's going to be tripping over stuff. Yeah. She's going to hate me. Oh. Oh, she just knows that's me. Good. Okay. Good. Nope. Go back to the takeaway. You did great. The takeaway was perfect. Yeah. And right after the takeaway, you quit turning. Like, oh. All right, I'm done. Well, he gets me for that one, too. <laughs> Good. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Done. We're done. There you go.
We're done. Yep. Now, make that awesome transition move that you do, and I'm gonna show you what your hands should feel like. Feel this, this is your move. Yeah. Hands going out to the ball, club's always gonna be screwed there. It's either gonna come in steep or late, or both, right? Yep. Instead, shift, keep your back to the target, and let your hands fall. So yep. now what you're trying to do, in your head, is letting your arms just go where they're gonna go. Which right. It's gonna feel like they go straight down over the ball. Of your right. Head. Yeah. Well, that's what <clears throat> we've been working on a little bit. Exactly what um, we've been working on. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, I tend to have too much tension. In sure. There. And so um, that's one of the things I've been trying to. A woman, a but it's a little bit of his mistake too. He's holding on to a lot of tension in the upper part of the left arm and he was turning his body with it, so the hands were working out in front of him really quickly. So he's trying to get his arms to separate off his shoulders from the top of the swing down, to get him to feel a little bit more vertical rather than out in front. I just want you to kind of, we're going to do that first half of the transition. I want to see that first foot okay. of hand movement. Go back. Right wrist set. He almost took it inside there. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Good. Finish your turn. turn. Now, nice and slow. All I want you to do is sit into that left side and keep your shoulders shut so your hands can go this way. Here, let me step in there for a second. Yeah. I want to give you, stand right here. Okay. I want to give you a different feeling or thought process. Because right now, your golf swing, you make a great transition and your hands go out this way. Mm -hmm. But that's rotation. It's trying to get the hands and the club back out to the ball. I want right. you to feel something, something different. If you're going up and out, I want you to feel like you're trying to actually keep everything shut and let the club, to you, feel like it's working from way inside by staying shut. So yeah. what you're gonna do is allow the wrist to work to bring the club back out on plane instead of trying to swing your hands out to the ball. So to exaggerate this feeling, you're going to shift, stay shut, so my chest is still pointing at the mirror, and then I'm gonna let my arms with nothing else happen, I'm gonna exaggerate this, and I'm gonna swing just letting my arms swing way out to the right. This is an exaggeration. Mm -hmm. But this will get you that feeling of letting the club drop down into a delivery position and then releasing yeah. instead of this. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. The one thing I did, maybe it isn't according to how you would, you know, because you're obviously focused on body movements. I thought I could, I don't remember. You didn't if this is the inside of the ball like thing, it. you better yeah. throw this one out. Right, yeah, we'll you, you don't bring this one up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, we don't, we, it we, looked good to me on video. Yeah, but yeah, again, that, good. that was a Band-Aid like fix. I wasn't getting you kinesthetically aware of the body, right? That's the whole idea. No, I wasn't aware of the body. Exactly. No. And so that's not, that's not actually wondered, working you in a positive way. But that thought process forced me to move the body in the way you're trying to get one. It gave you some sort of feel that wasn't really translating to what was actually really happening. Just so you know. Okay. You know I'm going to experiment. I know. That's okay. <laughs> I was a research engineer. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So he's very, ana swings right up he's very analytical. Uh, <laughs> and he will fight with you tooth and nail. So. Oh, I did. I'm very <laughs> nice to you. <laughs> you guys sound like an old married I, couple. Only a little I, bit. I tell you, so they we're almost married. <laughs> uh. Now. You don't exaggerate your transition move quite so much. Just kind of sit back on the left side, keep the shoulders shut, and let them, while the shoulders don't move at all, if the arms come down, then you're gonna feel like you're swinging yeah. 30 degrees out that way, is what it's gonna feel like yeah. first. Ah. It's gonna feel like the club is always okay. way outside your hands. Uh, you have a tendency to roll it. Yes, I do. And then hinge it, and then it's dead. Right. There you go. Perfect. That club will never go inside. Now, a 
little shift back to the left, hands go this way. I want you to start to feel what movements cause your hands to go this way off yeah. the ball, and how you, you keep the shoulder back, whether you're thinking about the right shoulder or left shoulder. Yeah. I want you to get a feeling, and then watch yourself in the mirror, because it's going to trace the shaft from yeah. your eyes and shoulder. There's a little trick to use this twice. yourself in the mirror and the hands again should look like as you're shifting they come down vertically yeah. just for this half of the swing yeah. Yeah. and then from there you just release it there you go way better Good. so the feeling of that 30 degrees into out thing is again just to get you to wait a little bit so you realize how much you're wanting to do this that brings the hands out this way yes but so it may feel a little more shut than you're used to it yes but It'll, once you do this at speed, it won't feel like that. Yeah. No, keeping that, because that's the other thing is he's wanted me to do is keep that chest shut. Yeah. You know, you know, feel like it's shut through the swing almost. Chest, chest shut, back to the target, those sorts of things. Yeah. And those have been hard for me to do. Yeah. yeah. But that's that's the whole reason that the hands are going out yeah. toward the ball, right? So yeah. this little change, just making sure the club stays in the right position going back, so we don't tell the right arm wants to do a bunch of crazy stuff. Yep. That's all you need to do. So if you put those two things together, you can get the takeaway where the club stops presetting you to do all this stuff. Yep. But then you can use that same shaft to make sure the hands look like they travel vertically for that split second, and then you can release as hard as you want from there. Right. back there. Good. Hands were way out in front of you. Good stuff. <laughs> My brain's about to <laughs> throw up. <laughs> so, maybe still Ooh, a little bit out yeah. front, just a fraction. I can feel like it didn't drop as much. Take a quick look. I'll show you the takeaway went a little bit inside that time, right at the end. Right yeah. now, club should be going up more. Yeah. It's yeah. more elevation, right? Yeah. 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 And here you stop turning again. Yeah, and I felt it. So I tried to turn harder later. <laughs> uh, top of the position, the top went too bad. No, top looks great. Yeah. That, that position's fantastic. Well, I kind of recovered it. Yeah, exactly. We're really close there. But the arms, the reason this isn't going to look right, so you see, see how smashed your arm is across your chest? Mm hmm. It's because you stopped turning going back. Okay. Now your arms are late. They're way late. Oh, okay. So they need to be thrown out toward the ball because they're so far strapped across your chest that if you didn't do that, you'd be this far open by the time they got to it. So what you've got to feel is that you keep that width and spacing and not smash that logo even going to the top. Now, of course, the top it will. But you used to have a tendency to finish your takeaway great and then do yeah, this. And then lift. And then as you go down, your hands have no choice but to go out. So you've got to keep that width and spacing with your arms as you go back to the top to feel like you can still see the, you know, Chris can see the logo on your shirt at the top of your swing. Yeah. Elevation going back. Yep, 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 there you go, good. Now keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, turn your logo. Oh, there you go, you're done. Now as you shift, your hands will go straight down. Okay. But from back here, they got to go that way, right? Yeah. That's why I didn't like how this arm was going this way, going back. Because if you load it up this way, guess what direction it wants to go on the way down? Yeah. Right? So with that extra turn, it feels like my hands are back farther here than what I'm used to. If you look in the mirror, though, they're actually more in front of you. Okay. Well, 
Well, because I've churned my chest. Exactly. Okay. Instead of swinging your arms. So it's, it's relative, yeah. Yeah. So that's okay. why you've got to look at yourself. You may feel like when you look in the mirror that your hands are way back here yes. because you've made a bigger rotation. Right. But when you look, your hands are actually more in front of your chest, yeah, chest. than where they are before. Okay. Got it. That's why we don't rely on feel, right? Yeah, I know. That's why I've worn out my video and my camera. <laughs> good, good. There we go, good. Keep that lit. Finish your turn, you're done. Whip. You want your hands as far away from your head as you can get them. Yep. Okay. And then... The only thing I was stealing is that if you push me back, this heat one to straighten up. It can straighten a little. I mean, okay. you don't want that thing locking out. No, right. Because then you're going to over-rotate your hips. But it uh, will straighten a I little bit. When I start all this, that was the biggest problem I had when I got, when I got across the line. Did you let your hips open? Oh, yeah. yeah. And this knee was straightened up. That was some of the first things we worked on. So so shift right. Yeah, I mean that's a definite. Right? Yes, but it's okay for it to straighten a little. Everybody's okay. knee will straighten a little. Okay. So when you see me having guys like kind of squat and stuff, it's because they're doing what you used to do, right? Yeah. So I've got to really exaggerate keeping right. that activated. But now as you go back, I mean mine's going to straighten. It's going to rotate a little bit. So let it straighten to help you finish your turn for sure. Oh, okay. Right. It's probably ten degrees of flexion that you're losing, if that. bad there. Keep that right arm wider at the top. It's going to feel really strange All right, you. wider at the top. Right. Good. Wide, wide, wide. Keep your hands up. There you go. Now come down. Mm. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're looking for. That width is a source of huge effortless power. Right. Versus this. Right. This is a sequencing nightmare. When this thing collapses and gets deep, you've got to do all kinds of compensations to get that club back to the ball at some point. Okay. When you're like this, it's, your hands are barely moving. It's like a big chipping stroke. Okay. People think about their golf swing and they do this, trying to load up their arms. I'm trying to get you to load up your core yeah. and keep your arms out of it. To a, Obviously, they've got to do a ton, but right. to feel that, and then they have so little to do to fall straight back down and yeah. get back to the ball. Yeah. So it's way less work and way more power. Davis Love III is probably the best in the world. Yeah. And he, he moves it. Yeah, he does. And well, he's going to be an old guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's 120. I think he was 128. 128 miles an hour? Well, it was like three, that was measured yeah. three years ago. Yeah. That's insane. And he's not that big. I went up. Uh, he's a big, he's tall. He's Bar tall. Class. But he's, yeah, he's but he's not. Yeah. He's just, yeah, he's got a lot, lot of width. width in yeah. his swing, right? And that's free speed. That's why he's in his 50s and still can hit the ball 350 yards. Right. He's very patient with his hands and arms on the way down, too. Has to be, yeah, yeah. for sure. Good, good, good. Width, width. Ah, you stopped turning. I saw I was thinking of width. <laughs> <laughs> You create width by turning, though, without I moving know. your arms. You did the opposite. Well, I was trying to keep that right arm from bending. If you want it to stop bending, you better keep turning. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna hit you. That was very slow close. Down. We don't need to make full swings, right? But I just want to. I need to stop you at the top because you still stop and then you. So I'm going to show you what it's going to feel like. You're going to feel right. like you're going to swear to me that you never bent your right arm when you do it right. You're going to your arm's going to feel like this to you at the top. Okay. It won't be. But right. That's what you're going to feel. Okay. Well, I know this feeling on the on the takeaway when I'm out by myself and I see that club coming in. Then now I haven't necessarily thought about the muscles, but the next swings I would do is I'd make sure I could feel that club. Just it feels like. You know, it was totally off plane. It was way the hell out here. Sure. And then I looked. But the you were correcting said, it more. Okay, now that's great. But the but the point we were trying to make to you before was that you were trying to correct that with your hands. You were trying to move the club into a position that was more outside. Because I would tell you about like the little plane of glass or ice that was in front of your hands. Right. Yep.
Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. You're done. Your arms are done. Now come down. There you go. It's going to feel like your hands are out here. Okay. You're going to swear to me they are, but of yeah. course they won't be anywhere near them. Side still, it's like right about here, you start to let this back. wrist set back in, and that's what brings the club in. Instead of it's gonna feel like you're, yeah, you know, from a visual perspective, if from your eyes' perspective, the yep. club looks like it's just always going straight down the target yep. line, it's probably gonna be pretty close to the proper amount of elevation. Yeah. Um, that I feel when I do my videos, that's and I get them right. Uh, that's exactly what it feels like. I mean, it's way to shit out there somewhere. It's what it's going to feel like for sure. Yeah. <laughs> We're no longer PG. <laughs> What's that? I was kidding. <laughs> oh. for me to see from that side, but it looked pretty good. They're more out in front of when we were doing the slow downward drill swing, but they're actually coming down in the correct spot. Can I see what that looks like? Did nope. you video it? We're running a video right now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, we, we can do this. But you can oh. definitely see it with... The iPad. Yeah. I'll have to feel keeping that right arm out. That's, yep. Mm -hmm. Let's try it on this That's one. Different. takeaway is pretty good. Quite enough elevation. And then it stops about halfway through the takeaway. Yeah. And then it okay. goes way inside. And that's all right wrist flexion. Right. So now look at your chest. Yeah. So you stop turning right here. No more rotation. Yeah. Now it doesn't matter from the piece. It doesn't yeah. matter, right? Yeah. You got these now hands screwed. Right. Yep. Yeah. So that whole takeaway move and getting that elevation is going to set everything off on the right or wrong path. And when you stop turning halfway back and then this arm starts taking over, it's always going to go inside feet. Oh, I'm going to do it this time. You see how from your perspective it looked like it was going down a straight line this mm -hmm. way? That's what I'm trying to get you to sense when you add right. that elevation. Now the club head's still way outside your hands. Yep. Just keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. That's what it's going to feel like to you that your hands are going to stop. Momentum's going to take them to here, but that's what it's going to feel like to you yeah. when you turn correctly. Wide, wide, good. That's a better takeaway, good. Keep that turn. Better. I can already feel that when that club's there, it's a whole lot easier to have my hands drop down than where I was. You couldn't exactly. from there, they have to go out. So what I'm trying to do by getting you to feel, to exaggerate elevation going out this way, yeah. they're already out in front of you, so you don't yeah. have to throw them. Instead, remember the way a bunch of people used to teach bunker play? Oh, so, yeah. Oh, take it way outside and then drop yep. it to the inside. Yep. That's a horrible way to teach it. But right. the sensation that you may be perceiving what you're doing is kind of similar to that. Yeah. You're going, oh, yeah. feeling yep. elevation yep. out, yep. and then it drops straight down. Yep. That makes sense? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I've been around long enough. I've seen all, the, <laughs> all those different types of teaching. Why would anybody want to do that? That's so crazy. Let's just make a big loop in your bunker swing. Great, great. Oh, good, good, good. There you go. Wide. There we go. Path looked good coming down there. Mm-hmm. 
I like well, that. What, what it feels is that now like I got a big space to drop it into. Exactly. Okay. Before you had no space right. and you got to throw. Yeah, now it feels like I got space to have just going to happen now. Exactly. It, exactly. It's going to happen as a byproduct of doing just those little things yeah. on the takeaway right. Yeah. Way better. Wide. Good. So that's going to give you more room yes. to start bringing the arms, and then you can use them for some zip at the bottom, right? Right. But throwing them from the top, that's when you start running into all kinds of stuff, you know, hitting it in the teeth and stuff like that. Yeah. But that's not going to happen, but this is going to feel funky for a little bit oh, yeah. as you keep working on elevation and width and making sure you finish your turn. But yeah. the rest of the stuff, I mean, you've got, you guys have done an awesome job getting you where you are yeah and i could see you know, this stuff still in there oh yeah but this will get rid of that yeah this will give you the room to bring the club down and be able to release it so yeah. let's try hitting a couple really easy um oh just doing the same thing but go really slow just like you yeah. were in your practice room. okay i don't care if you shank it or right. chunk it or yep. whatever i just want to see that we do the takeaway right just first stand over there <laughs> <laughs> So just the takeaway on this first one, all we're thinking oh, about. Just takeaway? You, you, you can hit it? a ball. Huh? I just want you to think about the takeaway. Oh, oh, okay. If you get it all, all the way right to the top right, then that's great. But yeah. All right. We're going to start with baby steps. Okay. Not too bad. Again. Hands are still pretty far out in front on the way down. Yeah. So what happened there is that, again, you're starting to rotate, but then you start to swing your arm across your chest when the ball's there, right? Because that's a power thing for you. Yep. If you feel muscles engaged, you feel like you've got something to use, right? But right. these are the muscles that don't do us anything in the swing. It's these. So as you're going back, you're going to have to keep working on keeping yeah. this width and your logo open to Chris all the way to the top of your swing. I want Chris, when you go to the top, he can read the logo. Is what it's gonna feel like. Yeah. Sounds simple. Well, it's pretty tough going uh, to hit balls yes, right I now. I was being facetious. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will be simple, but we've got yeah. we need more reps. But I just wanted oh, to, yeah, I wanted absolutely. you to try and hit a couple. Yep. So keep your width, keep your logo open. Finish your turn. Keep going. Keep going. Not too bad. But you're still stopping about a, you know, halfway through. Halfway through, it's still not turning. You stop turning, and that's when the arms start folding, and then the arms are going to go deep, and then you got to throw them again. So you're going to okay. have to have the same result. Okay. So show me a turn where your right arm never folds. Right. Stopped about two thirds of the way there. <laughs> it's progress, but I watch. All I'm looking at is yeah. your right shoulder. I'm just yeah, watching. See it if it keeps moving back. And it stops when your arm's about right here. Okay. Take a little while to get that feel. Turn your obliques. Turn your rib cage. Turn, 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 turn. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. There you go. Better. Don't worry about that. That was a better turn. You fixated on continuing to turn. Yes. And you almost paused. <laughs> you got here and you're like, I said, oh, like, I keep I said, going. turn, 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 keep going. You, used to be, you kept finishing. You should have felt more coiled up there. Yeah, I did. That's what we're looking for. Instead of you associating power in your swing with how much you load up this right tricep in your shoulders, I want you to associate power with how much you load up your yeah, lower trunk. The, when you were turning me, the difference in torque I felt appeared was totally different than mine. Exactly. 
so that's what you're really going to focus on when you practice is going back and doing that chair drill, starting to feel these obliques fire, getting all that stuff to work, and then slowly adding your arms back into it. But I wanted you to hit some balls so you can see what kind of mistakes you'll fall back into. Yeah. The video on the site called Keep the Right Arm Straight to Turn, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't remember it. I don't, I don't. Bad. Hands still a little bit too far out in front coming down, but definitely good going back. It's progress. Yep. So you got to get this piece yeah. together first. First is the elevation. Yep. To get the hands to go. Yep. You're trying to reverse what you're doing now. Right now, your hands go inside yep. during the backswing. That means they go outside on the downswing. Yep. Now you're trying to get them to go outside. At on least the that's swing. something so I can. Inside. I can see easily on a video. For sure. Yeah. And you'll see, like the club, when we do these takeaway drills, what we're doing, it was perfect staying outside your hands but the big issue again is right when you get here, here you're yeah, like i'm stopped. done and then i'm going to yeah. do this okay. and that's when you've got to transfer what you associate with power in your swing from the arms to this and yeah. we're right we're close there yeah. one of the things that's going to help with this is doing drills where you turn with just your arms yeah. across your chest yeah. faster because right now when you're going really slow it's pretty easy for the club to start taking over and your arms to start taking over because we're turning really slow and yeah. it's kind of slow and funky and cumbersome. If you can get your body to make that full turn faster, then your body can outrun your arms. Right now, right. your arms start to outrun your body, yeah. right? Yeah. So you just gotta learn to move quicker just by doing these rotation drills. Like yeah. Even while you're sitting down on the yeah. cart and just doing this. Yeah, we can do that. To feel how quickly, because your body, you're moving all your internal organs, your rib cage, everything. It's got to yeah. move, and it's got to move in a lot of stuff. Right. You've got to get it moving pretty quick, yep. and then your arms can chill out. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's try a couple more. I want you okay. to do a couple practice swings, but I want you just to try and rotate your, your rib cage a little bit faster. Uh, oh. Just like we're doing, you're still going to have to try and elevate, but I want to see if we can get some rotational speed in there. Big turn, big turn, big turn. Nope, stop. Do it again. Let's stop. Start lifting. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. There. Again. <laughs> Again. Back. There. Oh, that's a rotation. Again. Whoa. Again. That's totally different. Now look where your club is. You've made a bigger turn than you make normally when you're hitting a ball, yep. but the club's still way out here. Yeah. That's what I mean by your body outrunning your arms compared to what you're used to. Yeah. So you've got to learn to rotate quicker. There you go. Huge turn now. Way better. Oh, that's a 90 degree turn. Look where your hands are. And that's your right arm staying straight. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah, I guess it almost forces you to turn if I don't. If I that's going. what he was talking about that video. Yeah. Keep the right arm right. straight to turn right. is what that's all about. Yeah. There you go. There. Ten times better. Still gonna keep it there you go. That is gonna add some juice to the swing, big time. Oh yeah. There you go, dude. You gotta film this one face on. It looks so good. Club's only halfway back. Turn's finished. There you yeah, go. Yeah, good. <clears throat> Got all that width now too. Yeah, exactly. Turn. There you go. Nice. There we go. Really good. <laughs> I don't even feel anything close to my normal swing. So when you want to when you want to hit the ball further, it's rotation that's going to get everything working correctly. So you're going to rotate and shift your weight faster, not swing your arms and hand the club faster. It's the opposite, right. right? So that's what I want you to get that sensation of is when you're at home practicing, like we need to do slow motion drills until we can do the movement correctly. You're doing the movement correctly. So let's speed it up. Let's yeah. get going. So now, can we get that turn up there? You're going to have a hard time. If you're turning quickly like this, your arm, your shoulder's only going to move about eight inches in the entire backswing. It's hardly anything, right? Right. 
the same time, that club's got to move like 10, 12 feet. Right. So if you move, if you focus on rotating quickly, your hands will have a hard time keeping up, which is good, right? Because right. you have the opposite problem than right. overtaking. So if you wake up your body, it starts to get to rotate, that's where all the speed's going to come from. Because you're going to be able to keep the width and have all the right positions. Nice. Okay. nice. I like it. I like it. New man. That's a turn, dude. That is a turn. It's actually easier, I think, to turn because the momentum keeps going. They'll do it faster than it's slow. It, it will, for sure. Not as good as before. You gotta turn quicker. Yep. There. <laughs> now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> the furnace is working now. We're not relying on the pilot light for heat anymore. We've got the whole thing cooking. Now let's try to hit a car. All I want you to try is just rotating quicker, keeping your width just like you're doing. Yeah. But your only focus is going to be just one thing, just getting that rotation to happen. Right. Saucy. <laughs> Did you hear that? Tom. Did you hear that? that? That's music to our ears. That, that Tom. Is that, we, call, too. we call that audio. That, that's some compression there, our yeah. voice. Yeah. I'm was, done. That puts a smile on my Fair face. Not. I love Fair that. Not. Try it again. <laughs> I think I got Well, I got the idea. There you go. Boy, look how much, how much more width he's keeping the right arm now. She's focused mm -hmm. on turning. It's awesome. Yep. <laughs> Almost. You quit on it a little bit. Shut down a little bit. Three quarters of the way back. Almost. Okay. Two thirds of the way back. Well, good thing I got a good teacher to send videos to. <laughs> It's Quit perfect. sucking up. It's not going to help you get out of trouble. <laughs> no, not. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, same thing. Make a couple practice swings again. Okay. Turn. Jeez. <laughs> not your hits. Minus. Oh. I was gonna say B, but B minus is good. I'm a little more critical than he is. <laughs> Damn. When you turn quickly, your right shoulder gets another 10 degrees of rotation. There you turn pretty fast, faster than you were, but not fast enough. Okay. Because your arms are still too quick okay. to keep up with it. So right. your turn was a little bit shorter, and that's why you just didn't have the same juice. All right. stank on it. Good. Mm. A better turn there. <laughs> They're a little sore. <laughs> well, you haven't used them before, right? <laughs> I you, guess not. You do turn just a fraction less when your hands get a little active to get the club moving. When you have that little bit of wrist set early, 
So remember, Chuck's telling you to try to feel like your body turn is out racing your hands and arms in the backswing. So just try to feel like the hands and arms are just a little bit more passive, focus on big, big turn. Yeah, you make, yeah. You make a lot more turn, more depth. Way better. Yeah, for me, I think I just gotta feel like the arms are fall, you know, behind. Everything else is moving, and it's just they're not doing anything. Remember, everything that we're doing starts from the inside out. Yeah, right. It's the body first. I don't care what the right. arms are doing, unless the arms are doing something wrong, right? right? So, but when your arms are dominating the swing like they were for you, and again, dominating is not even a fair word. For you. You're right. obviously a great golfer, but. When they're overtaking in places too early and then causing these issues in the downswing, you've got to get back to the center. You've got to get your oh, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Uh, the tee box. Oh. He, he's out of bounds. <laughs> so as you as you keep practicing yeah. rotating, you just start doing it quickly. Yeah, I gotta do it quick. Stuff working. And then you'll realize like, okay, my arms are just gonna go wherever they're gonna I don't even have time to think about it. Right. And my brain is in my right. obliques and my glutes and my core. The rest right. of the stuff works great. So that's all I tell you to focus on for okay. right now. Is if you get your body rotation working, do these little couple takeaway drills, yep. the stuff we gave you, and then Chris, obviously, you're in good hands. Yep. You guys don't need me. Good. So, all right. <laughs> good riddance. <laughs> good. No. But thank you so much well, for thank coming you, up. Uh, for, uh...